I'm Laura Trevelyan in Washington, and this is BBC World News America. Top officials from Washington and Moscow hold talks in Geneva amid fears in the West that Russia may be preparing to invade its neighbor Ukraine. Meanwhile, after deadly protests in Kazakhstan, the country's president now claims the demonstrations were an attempted coup. But one thing is clear, that to stay in power, the president of Kazakhstan had to call on a foreign power for help. And that's Russia. In Australia, Novak Djokovic is back on court despite not being vaccinated after a judge says the government cancelled his visa unreasonably. Plus, after 83 weeks of no classes due to the pandemic, schools in Uganda finally reopened today. We report from Kampala. For some schools, it's going to be very difficult to maintain safety measures like social distancing because they have huge student populations and not enough space. Welcome to World News America on PBS and around the globe. We start tonight in Switzerland, where top diplomats from the US and Russia held talks aimed at lowering tensions over Ukraine. Russia has deployed 100,000 troops close to the Ukrainian border, and the Biden administration fears Moscow could be preparing to invade its neighbor. Tonight, the top US official at those talks said there's a long way to go. The BBC's diplomatic correspondent, James Landell, reports now from Geneva.